Welcome back to 30 at 6. The Maryland Department of Agriculture has issued a quarantine for all of Cecil and Harford counties on transportation of materials that may contain lanternflies. Doris Benke, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for inviting me. So you are from the University of Maryland Extension Office. I am. Will you remind us about the spotted lanternflies? What, what is some background on on well, um, the spotted lanternfly has been in the United States uh, since 2014. It came into the United States um, as eggs and some gravel into Berks County into like a landscaping company. Um, and Penn State Extension has been doing a fair amount of it, um, research on it, trying to understand. And the invasive insect is a plant hopper, mm -hmm. um, which feeds on over 70 different plants and crops. And it's in quarantine in I think 14 counties right now in Pennsylvania. Uh, there's a quarantine in one of the uh, counties in, in Delaware, one in New Jersey. So the lanternflies are getting around and um, we believe that they're being spread by man because they are an excellent uh, hitchhiker. Mm. They get on to items of all sorts and then when man moves them, they get moved into new areas. So that's part of why there is a quarantine mm -hmm. because there have been populations found this year in Cecil County that are concerning um, our um, regulators that they will be spreading if we don't take action. And why is it concerning? Why are spotted lanternflies, why is it important that there have been sightings recently? Well, um, it's important right now because they had not been in our county um, until this year. They found one male last year at the very end of the season but they have been finding all the different life cycles in Cecil County now. And we want to stop the spread of the spotted lanternfly so that they don't devastate um, our agriculture, our timber, and many different uh, fruits and vegetables that are in our county. And can you describe the quarantine? What's, what is restricted? Well, the quarantine is for our county and, and it affects everyone. So there's two different types of uh, people that'll be affected by the quarantine, and that would be people that have a commercial business um, that are moving things within the county, and then the average Joe who just um, doesn't have a commercial business, but they live in the, the county and they move things around. And so people say, well, what do you mean they move things around? So they could be moving a camper, mm -hmm. they could be moving wood, they could be moving lumber, they could be moving old piece of equipment. Um, they could be doing, just moving anything around that is outside in the environment where the spotted lanternfly may be on it or may have laid, laid eggs on it at this point in time of this year. Um, because we are in the state, the life cycle of the spotted lanternfly right now where the adults um, are present mm -hmm. and they've been laying eggs um, and they've been around since around July. And uh, they are being found in different places in the okay. county. And so what should, what should individual people do if they see well, a spotted lantern Well, the fly? thing is for the adults, if you see an adult, you should kill it. So then there's, if you see the eggs, which the eggs look like putty or mm -hmm. mud that's been smeared on something and they like to lay their eggs on fairly smooth surfaces. But you can find them on bricks, you can find them on metal, they, they'll be on trash cans, they could be on the side of your house, they could be on a camper, they could be on your, bar, your barbecue barbecue grill, they could be on anything that um, the adult has come into contact with. And so the eggs were asking people to not, you know, you can't really just kill them. They're kind of plastered onto a tree. So we're asking you to scrape them off into like a Ziploc bag that has hand sanitizer in it, mm. zip it closed and then smash them. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the other thing too is that um, when you see adults, the Maryland Department of Agriculture has wanted everyone to report them, report the sightings to them because they come out and they investigate and they also take an overall map of Cecil County and they will pin that address as a sighting for spotted lanternfly. And they have boots on the ground, the people come up, they come to that address and they start looking out about a quarter mile around that, that location to find out what they can see. Are they seeing large populations mm -hmm. of the adults of eggs or whatever, or are they not? Was it maybe just by happenstance that there was one that hitched hike on something and right. they happened to see it? Or is there actually a, a big population there that we have to worry about? But the other thing too is that they're not just worried about the spotted lanternfly, 
they're worried about the tree that it likes to feed on. We mm -hmm. talked about that the last time we were here about the um, tree of heaven, which is the um, Ilanthus altissima tree. Hmm. And that's also from China. Oh. And yeah, and it's all across the United States. So the United States Department of Agriculture has gotten involved um, since last year. And my understanding is they want to start collecting all the data, like I say, for pin, putting a pin into the location where the sightings have been found. They, they go out away from the, that pin for a quarter mile and look for populations and look for these trees. They map these trees on the same map um, and their, their plans are is to treat those trees or maybe remove some of those trees to try to control the spotted lanternfly. And when I say, you know, come out and spray, they treat the tree the tree kind of absorbs the spray. It takes it up and it goes all through the tree, like up into the canopy mm -hmm. and all down through the trunk and out through the branches. So when there's a heavy population of spotted lanternflies, you know, 80, 90, 100 feet up in the canopy, you can't see them, but you can feel the wetness from them going to the bathroom, which is excreting honeydew, oh. that when they pierce the tree and they, they drink the, the um, nutrients that they're sucking out right. of because they're a plant hopper. Mm -hmm. They use like a straw face part and they pierce in and they suck the life out of it and that's how they kill trees and, and plants and stuff. They just take all the nutrients out. So when they ingest that, they'll die and then they'll fall down and their life is over. Hmm. And it breaks the life cycle. Um, so what remind me what the name of the website that people should go to to, to find themselves on the map. Well, for reporting um, a sighting, it is don'tbug.md at maryland.gov. Okay. And that is the Maryland Department of Agriculture link that they want you to go to to report a sighting of um, a, a lanternfly adult or even egg casings now mm -hmm. because they're collecting all this data for next year. Because they were spraying some and treating trees in Cecil County, but they stopped at the end of September because we're, we're in these four seasons and trees are starting to shut down. They're starting to lose, you know, we have deciduous trees and it's a deciduous tree is the tree of heaven. They lose their leaves, mm -hmm. they start to go dormant and they just kind of take a nap right. during the winter. Well, when you have a chemical that you want to get translocated throughout a tree and things like that, you want that tree to be actively growing yeah. and taking up nutrients and water and being active and not going dormant. So that's why they stopped treating this year. Mm -hmm. So if people want to learn more, they can visit you on November 15th from 5 to 6 p.m. for a Q&A mm -hmm. and also on November 22nd for, from 5 to 6 for a q and yes. same. And that's at the University of Maryland Extension Office in Cecil County, mm -hmm. which is at 200 Chesapeake Boulevard. Which is the administration Cecil building. County Administrative Building, and we're in Suite 1500. Great. And so I'll have some um, informational pieces there, some pictures, the life cycle stages and things like that. That'll be available. Great. And it's free. Okay. <laughs> so don't bug, D-O-N-T-B-U-G dot M-D at Maryland.gov is mm -hmm. where you can go to report sightings of eggs or live the lanternflies themselves. And you can also learn more at one of these Q&A sessions on November 15th or November 22nd. At from 5 to 6 p.m. Doris, thanks so much. Thank you so much.